The sixth eruption of the Swartzing volcanic system uh, in the area of the Stora Skokfell started very vigorously with a lot of pressure releasing uh, the magma to the surface. It has a lot of gas at the initial stage. It bubbles up and you can see through the fountains of the lava it creates these bubbles create fountains like what you do with a soft drink yeah, if it is shaken and it has lots of gas when you try to open it up it fountains out and that is what we have uh, in the initial days in the first week with this eruption reaches 170 meters uh, high into the air and that's the time that the magma entry and exit are unhampered we can see that actually magma reservoir is getting emptied the downward trend in the red line you can see here shows that the magma is actually drained fast to the atmosphere to the surface of the earth then it gets flat like a flat drink gases are reduced and you don't see much fountains rise into the air something is blocking it either the gas has uh, reduced the amount of the gas and volatiles or something else is blocking it Whatever the result is that we see the upward trend means the magma coming in but not going out. So the initial uh, stage is that the magma accumulates. That's what we see in the GPS data you can see here. And that's what we see at the surface. This is an old uh, K1 crater area. We don't see anything there. We don't see anything in the Storo Skokfell area. No visible beyond the rim. No visible activity beyond the rim. Whatever is happening within the rim of the volcano, thanks to the Chinese uh, tourists, we can ha actually have a glimpse of what's going on. We have passed the sign of the overflow and the lava tube has formed. So the invisible part of the eruption is finished. From this angle, we cannot see unless we put our camera somewhere better. And that is what we have done. Uh, we can see aerial view for over ha half a day. We cannot see any activity inside the crater. There is a thermal image also, and that thermal image just don't show anything visible inside the crater itself. What we see is the heating due to the sun and the lava is still hot around it. Also, the seismic activity has ceased. This is the fat means that the highest part of the seismic activity in this eruption. This is from the north of the uh, Fagodespiel, we can see. And uh, the eruption end toward the right, you can see that the seismic activity dropped suddenly and that's the result. This is what we have seen in the Icelandic Meteorological Office latest update. No visible activity, the eruption lasted for around 14 days, I think it was 16 days more like it. And uh, some uh, land, land rise has started again. Risk assessment will be available uh, later today. And that is all that we can say for this eruption. The eruption is over. This is the end for this one. See you in November, as I say.